Okay, let's look at making an adjustable bridle now for the front of your spinnaker pull. So let's say uh, this is the front of your spinnaker pull. You have your two uh, bridle lines that come to each hull. And then again, this is a block I sell that gives you a pulley for the, uh, the spinnaker tack line to be pulled over. I'll be selling these on eBay. Just makes it a little bit easier to pull that tack line out. There's a Harkin bullet block built into this uh, plastic plug for the end of your spinnaker pull. Otherwise, this is pretty much a standard uh, spinnaker pull plug other than the bearing I've added to it. So you want to have two knots in there so that thing cannot move either way. One thing I want to point out too, depending, uh, I've seen boats come with either size in here. Now this is a US size over here. This is one and three eighths on the inside. And this one is, the, it's a metric size. Uh, and you can see that is just a little bigger. You know, this one would be 1.375, and this is 1 1.4, about 1.45556 in there. So the metric pole is a little bit bigger. If you're going to order one of these from me, you have to be able to tell me which size it is. I do make them in either size. You can see they have a bearing built right into them. So let's go on with this. We'll take the U.S. Uh, example here. So but we're not really interested in this end for this uh, video. We're going to do the other end here. Here's a piece that says two and a half mil. Like I say, on my tornado, I do use three mil. But a lot of the boats are using two and a half out there. So again, we're gonna want to make a cut on it. And then we're gonna put it into a fid. Doesn't have to be a real tight one. I know these uh, this rope has quite a bit of room for the uh, line to fit back up in it. Now on some on some of the boats, I know they're tying these ropes on the corner of the hulls. They have a way where you put a loop in the end and you put a knot through that loop and hold it there. What I've seen people do is they'll leave a piece of rope uh, on that corner through that hole in the boat and leave it there and then they'll take a clevis and uh, leave this clevis there or they'll take it off actually when they undo the undo the uh, the bridles they'll take the clevis off. That's what I do with my boat. There's a piece of there's a little piece of metal sticking out of the hull and I can take that clevis right out of there. Basically what you need is something though for this to slide over that's nice and smooth. So let's just say we're going to put it on this one here. So we, well, the purpose though is we want to leave some room in here. We don't, don't want this eye splice to be real tight. We're going to leave it some room so that we can adjust it. So you get a rough idea how much you need and leave it a little long so you can adjust it longer or shorter. Now if you leave like two inches that should be plenty there to make some adjustment. Probably aren't going to have to move that spinnaker more than uh, that spinnaker pole if you have a good number on it, you know, a good length of the length of the front of your spinnaker. You shouldn't really have to adjust this more than maybe a half inch or inch on each side. So if you leave two inches, you should have plenty. So I'm going to go up through the middle here. Let me throw a piece of line in here because I'm going to be pulling this through a quite a bit of rope here. I'm just going to go through there once this time. I shouldn't pull too hard in there. So, okay, I'm going to come out the side here. This time, I'm going to want to keep this tail sticking out here. So, I'll pull this out of here. And now, I guess the point is though is that I want to leave some of this tail end sticking out then I can tie this off just put a half hitch in it here so maybe I sail a bit like this and anytime you'd put one of these in the boat of course you want to grab on the end of your spinnaker pull and pull up on it a little bit it'll help stretch everything out and after you sail the first time you want to make sure everything's stretched into place but maybe you're you know you uh, you want that front of your spinnaker to be tensioned a little lighter, not, uh, or rather a little tighter, so you want to pull the pull down some. So then you can just undo this knot, you know, maybe put a mark in here, make sure you know exactly what you're getting here. So if I pull one inch out here, I'm going to lose a half inch down here. So let's say I pull out and see that length we got there now. We got about an inch and a quarter or so. I'm going to take out one inch there work this down see we're only we're left with that much then 
So it gives you a way to be able to adjust the bridles. Of course, you want to adjust them evenly on both sides, so keep the spinner pole in the middle of the boat. But uh, I'd say in general, I do see a lot of spinnakers that, at least compared to my boat, they seem to be pretty loose in the front where it makes a big arch. It, it really di kind of distorts your sail shape a little bit. Of course, all sails are made to sail a little bit different, uh, and you need to make a, you know adjustments accordingly. But even from light air to heavier air, you can make an adjustment there and, and get some performance gains just by making a little adjustment. And, you know, once you know what you need to do, you know, if it's uh, you're going out and it's, you know, three mile an hour wind, well, you're probably going to have a little different adjustment than if you're going out and the winds are, you know, 15 or 18. So then I'll usually just tie that up in a couple knots there and just to keep the end of it. So it gives you an adjustment on the end of your spinnaker pull. Thanks for watching.